G'day viewers, it's the final TFU of the year, and what a TFU year it's been. G'day viewers, well I've spent a little time analysing the most TFU stories of the year, there are some definite trends and uh, recurring people involved this year, uh, and without a doubt, in my mind, the nastiest, uh, threatening, long-term, totally fucked up trend is internet censorship. And some people might say, oh, but you know, there's people being hurt and people dying and whatnot. The point is, what we've seen this year uh, in you know, the Arab Spring, various little revolutions and uprising, the ability to communicate is paramount in people improving their lot. That's why totalitarian regimes that were facing uprisings uh, did their best to shut down the internet and mobile phone services in order to control the population, which was rightly condemned by Western countries, who then went straight on and did it themselves, whether it was riots in the UK or, you know, the Occupy movement in the US. US uh, politicians saying, no, no, we should have the power to shut down the internet. And they introduced laws to do that. Shut down the whole internet, shut down individual sites. Uh, apparently, uh, they've had the word hypocrisy removed from the dictionary. Or they've had all the mirrors removed from their houses and offices because I honestly don't believe they could bear to face themselves being such hypocrites. Or maybe my opinion of them is too high. Uh, the low point for the internet censorship in the West is probably being reached with uh, SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act, uh, trying to work its way through US law system at the moment. Uh, and, well, there are two reasons that I, as a person outside the US, uh, are, is quite worried about this. One is uh, the amount of control the US has on the DNS servers, which control the majority of the internet. If they start shutting them down, it's a problem for everyone. And second, simply because what the US imposes tends to get imposed around the world. Either governments just do it off their own bat, or the US applies pressure. Uh, all in the name of copyright and protection and saving the children. Uh, I don't think I'm being too cynical in suggesting that these companies and politicians are scared shitless of a communication medium they don't control. Of course, the internet is full of fuck shit. And yes, I believe the wholesale uh, theft of people's uh, creativity is wrong. I just believe the line pushed by governments and corporations behind these laws is complete fucking lies. And when I didn't just look back on this year, I noticed almost the whole time I've been making videos on YouTube, I've cited different laws around the world uh, that were attempts to censor the internet. It's no one country. I get bugged when I raise something about like stuff that was promoted here in Australia or New Zealand or Europe or the US and people We'll go, oh yeah, that would be typical of the... It's not typical of any one country. It's happening everywhere and it's getting worse, not better. So you know what? If you bloody close your eyes for a minute, this stuff is gonna happen and we'll get to tell our grandkids what it was like when there was an actual free internet because it won't be around for much fucking longer. Speaking of politicians, when I look back on this year's videos, one name recurred more than any other and that was Rick Perry. Texas governor thinks he's got the right to be United States president. The dumb George Bush. As I said the first time, how, how is that even possible? When Bush was in power and we all made fun of how stupid he was and his inability to string a sentence together, I, some people said he was like Nixon with the brains removed. Nixon believed in an almost imperial presidency and uh, the Bush administration clearly did too. Uh, but there was less intelligence in the Bush administration. So when you've already removed the brains, how do you remove the brains again to get someone even more stupid? I don't know, but it appears to have happened with Rick Perry. And despite his desperation, uh, making homophobic slurs, slandering the entire US military for his own petty gains, he does seem to be somewhat on the outer. And I personally don't think he's responsible for the most TFU thing I saw from a politician this year. He's generally fucked up, but the single most fucked up thing I saw by a politician was again in America, was again a Republican. His name was John Kyle, and pandering to his base talking about how Planned Parenthood, ooh, they do abortions, that's bad, you know, 
Fuck free choice, okay? Fuck a woman's right to choose. Just because there's stuff, you know, in the Constitution about freedom, it's freedom except for people you don't agree with. Clearly, that's been made clear again and again. So this dick, John Kyle, gets on the Senate floor and saying why they should cut funding to Planned Parenthood because over 90% of what Planned Parenthood does is abortions, is what he tells the world. Now, this turns out to be so far from the truth, it's hard to imagine someone saying something that was less true. But did this fucking wanker cop to it? Did he apologise? Well, he kind of admitted it. He had his office put out a statement saying when he said that, it was not intended to be a factual statement. saying that, okay? How does he keep his job? How is he not slung out in disgrace? He's not even admonished for telling direct lies and then just going, oh, I didn't mean to even tell the truth when I said something that would affect the lives of so many people. I was just spontaneously lying for shits and giggles. You know, sometimes people say they appreciate uh, my way of telling the truth and they say, why aren't you in charge? Run, you know, yeah, let's vote for angry Aussie for Prime Minister. Well, you can't, because you don't fucking vote for the Prime Minister. Learn how your fucking political system works. That shits me. You don't vote for your Prime Minister. You vote for your local member. Then the party with the majority, their own leader, is automatically Prime Minister. Okay? You don't vote for Prime Minister. So stop saying you fucking hate whoever's Prime Minister because you didn't vote for them. Because you don't vote for Prime Minister, okay? Get that straight. And I don't want to be Prime Minister. That would suck. I'm going to be Emperor of the World. Also, not an elected position. It is a position I will seize through force when my experiments are finished and I raise an army of the undead to do my bidding. Oh yes, there will be brains. But that's all in the future. And look, if I could get a hold of someone like John Cole, I would introduce him to the truth. Truth is what I call my steel cap boots and I would truth his teeth down his fucking throat. Another recurring character in TFU Friday videos is Fox News, who never really stop being totally fucked up. And, you know, it, it wasn't even for me this year, their low point wasn't, you know, finding stories where it was shown they, they went to court specifically for the right to be able to consciously lie when they present stories. Or, you know, when it was shown that they couldn't broadcast in Canada, because Canada has a law where a news company has to say the truth and Fox couldn't actually qualify because with the not truth telling they do, so they can't broadcast from Canada. That was not it, you know, that's almost obvious. But for me, their low point was going to war against SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, with everything that's actually worth getting upset about in this world, they picked on an absurdist kids cartoon. See, they're not even trying. They're not saying we're serious, they're saying, we're fuckwits. We cater to fuckwits. There is nothing too stupid for us to do. And, you know, we're just going to keep being fuckwits. Hopefully not for long. When it, yeah, apparently their average viewer age is 65. So hopefully when all their fucking viewers die, they'll die as well. And we won't have to worry about this totally fucked up bunch of admitted liars pretending to be a news organisation. But finally, the most TFU headline of the year. I did say just the other week, there might be a late entry to win uh, a story about the guy who ate cocaine out of his brother's butt and died. And as some commenter said, close but no cigar. This year's most TFU headline has to go to Gordon Ramsay porn lookalike found dead mauled to death by badgers. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter to me that it's probably not true. Just the fact that that ever existed is enough for me to, you know, get up and look at the news headlines another day, just to see if someone can beat that one. When I say it's probably not true, uh, one website, I think it was Gorka, that investigated it, uh, couldn't even, not alone, let alone couldn't find a police report saying dwarf in Wales mauled to death by badgers and he looked like Gordon Ramsay, or the photo that was used to promote it uh, was a dwarf actor, but uh, he wasn't a porn actor. But they actually went and researched porn and couldn't find a trace of a Gordon Ramsay lookalike dwarf porn star. How do you put that in someone's job description? 
I can just imagine if someone came up to me at work and said, All right, you're looking at dwarf porn. No, I'm not. That's a lie. That's a lie. I, the server logs are wrong. Someone was on my computer. I left it logged in. It wasn't me. I wasn't looking at dwarf porn. Oh, you're, 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 you're telling me to go and research dwarf porn. That's just offensive. I'm not going to do that. I might have said too much with that one, really. I uh, let on a little bit too much about my workings. Ah, oh, well, that's it for another year. I'm glad I've had you all uh, along for the ride this year. And I have no doubt at all there's going to be much more totally fucked up news next year. And I'm going to make a prediction right now. Next year uh, is going to be dominated by the US presidential elections. Uh, there is just going to be bucket loads of total fuck up in there. Uh, and it's just not going to stop. And I'm not going to stop picking on it uh, because that's the way the world is. <laughs>